Hi, I'm Lifestyle and Health Coach Kimberly Liu, and today we're going to be talking about how to bust through weight loss plateaus. Today's focus is on cardio, but make sure that you stay to the end of the video because I have a free gift for you. So don't forget, I have a free gift for you at KimberlyLiu.com. But first, do you ever feel like whatever you're doing to lose weight doesn't seem like it's enough? Or do you feel like you're burnt out from your program because you're constantly working out, but it's too much? Well, I'm going to show you how to do your cardio effectively so that you're not burnt out in the gym. Let's get started. To have the best efficient program, especially your cardio program, you wanna make sure that you're being mindful at the times that you're doing cardio. Now, a lot of times what happens is as people start doing cardio, they start to do cardio before their workout. But let me tell you, it takes 20 minutes to stop burning sugar and to start burning fat. So it's almost like you're wasting your time warming up on the cardio machine. So you wanna do your weights first and then your cardio. And then I'm gonna show you specific ways to do your cardio so that you can go into pure fat burning mode. But first, we wanna make sure that we are doing cardio either first thing in the morning, as soon as we wake up, or, the, you know, or right after our workout, after we've done our weights, because then our sugar is all gone and we are now in fat burning mode. That's why they call it break fast, breakfast because we've been fasting all night long. So when you get up and you do your workout, you do your cardio first thing in the morning, you are now in fat burning mode. So now that you know when to do cardio, now let's show you how to do the cardio. So a lot of times what happens is, is people do either steady state cardio or they just go balls to the wall all the time. But let me ask you something. Would you go and take a rocket ship to the moon with a half a tank of gas? Absolutely not, if you're, if you're not insane, right? So you wanna make sure that you have a full tank of gas when you're doing your exercise program. So in the beginning of our cardio program, we wanna make sure that we're working out, just warming up for two and a half minutes. What happens is the body is cold, so we need to warm up. Then we wanna do five rounds of five minutes. The first two and a half, the first one to two minutes is balls to the wall. Get your heart rate up. If you're wearing a heart rate monitor, you wanna be at 150, 160, 170. Now, then you wanna calm down and calm the body down for about three minutes at about 120 to 140. So if you're not wearing a heart rate monitor, it's a talk test. If you can talk to me like I'm talking to you right now, that's how you wanna do your, your mild cardio. But then when it's balls to the wall, I want you not to be able to talk at all. So when you're doing this, you're kicking your body up into high gear, you're bringing it down for rest, you're kicking it into high gear, you're bringing it to rest. You're gonna do this five times for five minutes. And what this does, not only does it build up your cardio, but it also builds up your endurance so that you can go start to go longer periods of time in the future. But for right now, we're going one to two minutes with, my, with intense cardio and three minutes mild. So then you wanna do two and a half minutes of a cool down, and that is your well-rounded program. Now we wanna make sure that we don't do any cardio more than 30 minutes at all, because what happens, you know, I've trained professional athletes. I train Olympic gold medalists, professional football players, basketball players. What happens is their bodies tend to burn out, and you're not training to be a professional athlete. Most of you are not training to be a professional athlete. So you wanna make sure that you're doing short bursts, but then you're resting. So no more than 30 minutes of cardio a day, max. Okay, we're gonna start your cardio routine. I'm gonna take you through one round, and then you're gonna do five of the rounds. So it's just to basically show you what to do. So remember, you're gonna do two and a half minutes of warm up. So your warm up is just steady state for two and a half minutes, okay? Just like this. Now, when we get into the five minute interval, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. I'm gonna do cardio with you for five minutes, and then you're just gonna repeat yourself five more times. Okay, so we've warmed up, we're ready to go. I'm gonna take it. Intense cardio for a minute to two minutes, as long as I can go. Okay, and then after one to two minutes, I'm gonna take it back, bring it here. And that's it. And then after three to four minutes, depending on what your intensity is, we take it up again. And then after one to two minutes, you bring it down at a regular speed. Very good. Okay, for those of you who want to continue, we're going to do this for five more minutes. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna stop. 
Here we go. One minute. Super high intensity. Come on, I know you can do it. You got this. People always wonder, Kim, what do you do for exercise? I train you. <laughs> I'm teasing. Now you can do any kind of cardio. I like the rower because our backs are usually not as strong as our fronts. So we need to work our backs to compensate for sitting all day, right? I'm gonna go for 10 more seconds. That would be one minute. Excellent, you should be heart rate screaming right now. Barely able to talk. <laughs> and then you slow it down. For 30 seconds, I mean, sorry, three minutes. Excellent. Good job. For a total of five minutes, and then you start the round again. Excellent. You have about two more minutes. Moderate pace. My heart rate is slowing down. because it gives the body a chance to rest. We need to rest. We're moving too fast, people, and we need to stop it right now. Bodies are burning out. Also, people always ask me, Kim, I feel so tired after my workout. Is that normal? You should have more energy after your workout than you do before. If you're completely burned out after your workout, you've worked too hard. Good. I even tell that to my professional athletes. Good, just another minute. Thirty more seconds roughly. How you doing? Good. Okay, I'm gonna stop in 10 seconds. You go however long you wanna go. Good. So that's roughly five minute interval. Again, two and a half minutes warm up. One to two minutes, balls to the wall. Three to four minutes, rest. For a total of five minutes per round. You do that five times, and at the end, you rest, and you cool down for two and a half minutes. Now, I'm Kimberly Liu. I do hope this video liberates you. And remember, it doesn't matter whether it's your emotional, physical, or mental well-being. It is all connected. So let's find our freedom together. Oh, and remember, I offered you a free gift. Just click on the link below, just go down in the description, in the link below, click on the link. It will send you to KimberlyLou.com forward slash subscribe. It's my body sends MP3. Learn to listen to the signals that your body's telling you and take your life, your body, your mindset to a whole other level of success. I love you and I'll see you soon.